A lot of people rely on Simsware reviews to decide which packs are worth buying. But today, we are going to look at some reviews that have a very unique perspective on the game and may make you think more about the people that play The Sims 4. Before we get into these very creative reviews, I'm Simmer Aaron. I cover Simsware guides, updates, reviews, and occasionally mods in CC. And for today's question, which of these reviews do you find the most interesting? So in the past, I covered Google reviews from Sims 4, but I wanted to take it up a notch and that's why I headed on to Common Sense Media. And we're going to also finish up with reviews from Steam. Let me tell you, people had some pretty strong opinions and takes about Sims 4 gameplay, from teaching strong financial responsibility to completely ruining young minds. Establishes fiscal responsibility. Staggering statistics regarding the lack of financial knowledge between teenagers are starting to threaten kids' economic future because they have no understanding of how to handle their economic profits or losses. Sims' economic means arise primarily from the job they dedicate their life to, and also also incorporates a realistic aspect that they must take up a certain amount of time every day to leave their house. Every week, a bill is delivered to the residents, and if not paid within 48 hours, the electricity and water are restricted in the building until the payment is made. Meanwhile, this person argues that it does not have very much violence. These days, kids are asking for games such as Fortnite and Grand Theft Auto, which includes raw violence and death. Sims 4, as in life, characters eventually die or may die from factors such as drowning, electrocution, hunger, fire, rocket ship crashing, old age, overexertion, cow plant, embarrassment, anger, and hysteria. Unlike other games which show blood, this game is one of the tamest as it puts the lighthearted spin on the many ways of dying. Game is very innocent. Compared to what kids are doing these days and watching these days, Sims 4 is nothing. But this parent thinks that Sims 4 is a big problem and that's because of sexualization. I'm just a little concerned that some parents think that just because in Sims 4 they don't show the characters having sex, it's clear that it's happening and it's just fine. Also, why again are the girls' dressing options so sexy? Are we ever going to stop sexualizing young girls? This person also agrees that apparently Sims 4 is sexualizing teens. I really loved the previous game. I could play for hours without stopping, but I think Sims 4 lacks the fun immersion it had. For me, the game is just fine, even boring, and the graphics seem as if LEGO had designed them, being empty and a little dark. Teens are more sexy sexualized than in the predecessor. However, for some reason, this title has great role models and it's easy to play and use. Okay, this may or may not be a long review. So I played this game when I was like eight and I had an amazing time. Seriously, I see people saying too much sex in Sims 4, and if you're one of those parents who don't want to tell your kid about sex, it is called woohooing or trying for baby. Oh no, it is the best Sims game in my opinion at the present time. Note, I am 11 years old. And this viewer does agree that Sims 4 is a very child friendly. As a fan of the old games, this one is a huge disappointment. However, it does focus more on creating the characters and building and decorating the houses and less on character interaction. For that, I do find it much more child friendly, which is really funny when you juxtapose that with the ideas that the game is sexualizing kids and teens. And if you're ready for a really juicy one that is very angry about The Sims 4, I'm sure some people are going to agree with this, it is labeled Corporate Greed. If I could rate this game zero, I would. When I was a kid, maybe seven, I began my obsession with The Sims franchise. My older cousins used to bring their copies of the game over and let me play with it. I loved it. When I got a bit older and The Sims 4 came out, I started asking for Sims games every birthday and Christmas. I got super hyper fixated on it, hyper fixated to the point that I ignored all of its flaws and would defend it with a passion. Now that I'm older and I've grown out of my interest, dude, this game is shit. Can I swear on this website? It's absolute dog shit. Sims 3 and Sims 2 are awesome. Sims 1 was good for the time, but Sims 4, it's just horrendous. Seriously awful. Like, what the FEA, what the FEA. They are by far one of the most greedy companies out there. Everything is a new, shitty expansion, game pack, WTF even is a game pack. They just invented that to milk more money out of random kids. Stuff packs, it's disgusting. And now this thing called kits? 
Dude, Sims brings microtransactions and macrotransactions to a whole new extreme. It's not the whole overwhelming amount of pressure of interest the game puts on your wallet either. It's the complete downgrade in quality. Sims 2 and 3 had much more bang for your buck. Sims 4 is total trash. They had to patch it in so much glitchy shit that they should have never released it in the first place. They patched in features that should have been in the base game years ago, then added other integral features in expansion packs so you could pay for shit you would have gotten in the base game. The expansion packs are lackluster and clearly just money grabs. And now to take a break from the very dramatic reviews of Sims 4, I want to go to the very short, succinct, but interesting reviews on Steam. This person simply stated that Sims 4 is better than their life. This person said that the game itself was good, EA was bad, and $60 DLCs was cringe. I'm not really sure what currency they're in, but clearly it is not US dollars. And once again, this person took a take on The Sims being better than their life. You can live out your fantasies, like having a reliable income, a house, and a family. It's like buying a Happy Meal and the only thing included are the fries. You have to buy the nuggets, drink, sauce, and toy separately. Classic EA. I will say I really do appreciate the analogy right here. And there seems to be a common depressed theme that I can definitely relate to. When your life is shit, you play The Sims to make a fantasy life out of it. But then The Sims life is shit and you have to realize you just suck at life. And last but certainly not least, if the taste of warm Dr. Pepper could be made into a game, The Sims 4 would definitely be it. So obviously I left off names for these reviews for a reason. This is not meant to pinpoint any individual, but I did think it was really interesting to see how and why people play The Sims, and this certainly has very many unique perspectives. Let me know if you'd like more videos like this or have any video suggestions in general. It is a quiet time for Sims 4 News, so I'd really appreciate it. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next one.